But to share this and to have um, more people like create this connection with the water and it's just a beautiful way also for community to gather um, in the water because when we are in the water like layers of us disappear sure. and we become more we soften and we become more connected Welcome to this new episode from Pai, Northern Thailand. I am here with Esther. How are you, Esther? Yeah, feeling good. Very nice. So Esther is the owner of the Water Temple in Pai, which is a beautiful place with a hot spring. And it's a place for uh, therapy, for community, for just soaking up in the water and feeling very good. Is that right? Yes, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, we have um, this yeah, sacred space with thermal water that we use for healing. Lovely. Can you tell us a little bit more about your journey in life? I moved out of the Netherlands like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I always knew that I would travel and not stay in my home country. Um, and um, when I studied um, I traveled before, I studied and I had like regular job in marketing and in corporate communication and it was never fulfilling. Mm. I always felt, what is the purpose here? And um, yeah, so at one point I decided to leave all that and um, yeah, find myself kind of. Like I wanted to change my life. I didn't have the confidence to pursue um, more meaningful work in development. Um, and uh, so I packed my bags and I traveled for love also. And for that, various reasons came coming together. And um, I left to India. Mm. India, the mystical India. Yes. <laughs> what did you find? In, did you find yourself in India? Well, I don't know if we can say that. Um, I definitely had um, big transformations in um, just being instead of pursuing things. Um, yeah, did a vipassana uh, retreat and. Um, yeah, and then traveling to Nepal, um, I made a very conscious decision um, with the amount of money that I had that was available for me to either travel back home and start my life there or pursue a job that I found in Thailand, um, actually as a volunteer uh, with a beautiful um, Burmese women's organization. Mm -hmm. And um, so I did that. Lovely. And still here I am in Thailand. Very nice. And uh, what is the story with the water? I mean, were you always drawn to the water or it's something that you developed later on in life? Yes, that's an interesting question. Um, a lot of us, we have special relationship with water. Um, so water for a lot of people means joy. We have a lot of early childhood memories playing in water. Mm. Um, and also some people have um, a relationship with water that is also can be scary because we cannot breathe underwater. Um, so yeah, for me, I've always enjoyed being um, in water. In the Netherlands, we have a lot of water. Um, but I never really understood um, the healing and the softening of water until I came here to Pine. And um, we were lucky to find a house that had a connection with the hot spring, with thermal water. Mm -hmm. So when we came here, we thought we would stay maybe a month uh, in this house and then we never left. Fantastic! <laughs> Here we are in the house still. <laughs> yes, yes, at that time we had just a small 
uh, top. So for the local people that live here uh, with us in Tapai, Ban Tapai, the village here, um, they use it more to dip their feet. So we had some, something similar to that. And um, yeah, just being with this water, have that available on a daily basis. Um, yeah, made me appreciate how amazing the quality of the water is and what it um, does um, for your body. Yes. Indeed. And of course, one of the many uses of this beautiful space is that the therapist uh, can use the hot water to do um, I mean, I personally received Wotsu therapy and I know there are different styles of uh, water therapy and I know you are a, a therapist and a teacher as well. So can you tell us a little bit more about the healing aspect, the therapy aspect of using the water as a medium for healing? Yeah, so water has a lot of different qualities, no? Mm -hmm. um, so just by connecting with the elements of water, we already feel ourselves softening. Yes. Listening to the waterfall. <laughs> you know, we are connecting the water that is inside of us. You're 70% water. Mm -hmm. And so it's softening our, our own body. So this whole process of softening is also happening when we connect with the water um, in a water therapy session. Water also is very connected with our emotions. Mm -hmm. um, so, and also, water has a memory. Mm -hmm. So, there has been research done. Um, Masada Emoto is a Japanese researcher. Mm -hmm. um, so, what he did, he photographed molecules of frozen water. So, when you speak to the water, the, um, the molecules change. They become more beautiful, like purifying the mm -hmm. water. So it, it has a memory, so it receives. And as we have one body of water in our planet, um, when we talk or sing to the water in a beautiful way, we change actually the vibration of the water, mm -hmm. changing also the vibration of the planet. Very nice. So that is one aspect. Um, the other aspect, because it has all that memory, it knows also, mm -hmm. so it also allows. Mm -hmm. And the one yeah, great thing for healing is when emotions or when processes or parts of ourselves are allowed. So giving space for that. And that is um, the great thing about healing through water. Very nice indeed, yes, and it feels so nice as well being supported by water, floating on the water. It's such a, an, a lovely environment. I think also, you know, as a baby, is there water inside? Is there right? Yes, so <laughs> a lot of people when they receive um, a water session, they express it's like um, being in the womb, mm. being in the womb of the mother. This very secure and held space. Uh, of being um, yeah and that is a beautiful experience as we also have like we have these fluids in our body and also in our spine mm. and the spine is um, yeah is an um, important body uh, part um, to to expand and so there's fluids in the spine and when we move in the water uh, just by being in contact with the water and like lengthening that part of our body opens up a lot of our spaces. So it's connecting with our own fluids as well that is giving this healing experience. Yeah. And I, I know that you do trainings, yeah? yeah? So you explain that all to the people that want to become therapists. Yeah, so this is um, also new for me to teach, um, but I felt it was important to share this amazing um, art of healing. Um, because, um, yeah, I can see like a lot of changes happening by connecting to the water. So this is maybe also like the vision. So when 
we created this uh, pool, so my partner and uh, me. Um, it was actually my partner, Tone, who came with the vision and, um, and, cre and put this vision into manifestation. Very nice. So, um, Can you tell us a little bit more about your vision for the space? I mean, uh, including the local community uh, of, uh, you know, people coming to, to Pai and wanting to experience the water. I know that you do uh, regular events and evenings. What yes. is the vision? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So we've created Stone, uh, my partner and me, uh, this space, um, and then we put in this symbol, the yin and the yang. It's actually a spiraling yin and yang. So the spiraling um, shape of the pool connects with, you know, with life because we are living. Nature is in spirals. Our blood flows in our uh, veins in spirals. And then the yin and the yang, um, for me, uh, represents harmony. Mm -hmm. So this is the vision, like creating harmony. Um, and right now we are not in harmony. Like the, the masculine and the feminine, the yin and the yang, the receiving and the giving, the, um, uh, it's not in, um, not in balance. Mm -hmm. So the vision is to, yeah, to balance that so that the masculine can be a bit, can soften also and have a different way of um, supporting the feminine and, and, um, and the yin. Um, and yeah, it's, it's actually, so here with the water, it's a very, um, the water element is very supportive in, um, in growing like this yin energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's actually quite rare to have um, a pool that also offers the, um, space to, um, for, for water therapy, for aquatic body work, in, um, in, that has no chemicals, oh, you know, that is natural water. That is, and this, this water is of exceptional quality. So, yeah, so the, um, the vision is to, to share this and to have um, more people like create this connection with the water. And it's just a beautiful way also for community to gather um, in the water. Because when we are in the water, like layers of us disappear. Sure. And we become more, we, we soften and we become more connected. It is lovely indeed and uh, you know you can imagine being here in the evening in warm uh, thermal water looking at the beautiful sky full of stars and having the opportunity to you know be next to wonderful people and I mean, having a chat and a good time and uh, it's just heaven isn't it? Uh, you are immersed in nature in the hot water and you have your friends around. Yes so it's yeah, and that is also, it's like a 360 view of rice paddies and sunsets or sunrise or stargazing or moon gazing. Um, yeah, the, um, the quality of like being in nature, being surrounded by nature, having the cows now and the rice paddies and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really, really magical. It's a very soulful place and uh, if you happen to come to Pai, I certainly one of the things that you gotta do, you know, to come to the Water Temple, experience it. And either for a therapy, if you want, if you need that, or for one of the events, I think it's become one of the center points of our community already very quickly. Is that right? <laughs> yes, and, uh, yeah, we've had some beautiful events. And I also like to invite everyone that wants to come here to sit with some water and give it their loving vibration. And I have, uh, I call this my magic pot of water in the middle of our temple, Shala. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, by giving it your vibration, your loving vibration or gratitude energy, um, we can raise our vibration on the planet, so. 
It's a lovely. small act, but I, I, yeah, this is what I like to invite. It's a very nice foot. Yes. Well, Esther, thank you very <laughs> much for sharing, uh, you know, your passion and vision uh, with me today. And yes. uh, yep, thank you, Kapunkap. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> yes.